Yeah, so you can see there I pulled one tube out of the fixture and the other one works just fine all by itself. Unlike the, uh, at least the T12 tubes, they had to have both tubes in place or the fixture wouldn't work. So this way you can actually get half the brightness or if you had a four tube fixture, you could put one, two, three, or four tubes in to get different amounts of light. But you can see now the light is about equal to the strip light. You get about the same amount of light. So there's the that one all by itself. And there's the strip lights. So yeah, pretty similar amount of light uh, with one tube. That is a nice feature of these LED tubes that I didn't think about when I first got them, but it was actually this particular fixture, with this bad connector, one tube would flicker on and off. Sometimes it would go off completely, but the other tube just worked perfect. Okay, so this will wrap up retrofitting these old magnetic T12 fluorescent fixtures over to a direct drive LED tube. So these are the T8 tubes. There's advantages to retrofitting a fixture and there's also advantages to buying a new fixture. One of the big advantages of retrofitting your fixture is you're not having to remove the old fixture and then you also have to deal with the wiring. These again are plugged into switched outlets so they wouldn't be that hard to rewire depending on what the replacement fixture has as far as does it have a plug or do you have to hardwire it. Retrofitting the fixture in place there's just six wires you have to cut. You take the wire nuts that are already inside and just reconnect the wiring to bypass the ballast and the uh, starter if you have one. But that uh, saves you having to take the old fixture down and put the new fixture up. The mounting holes might be different. The wiring connections might be different. Also retrofitting, you don't have to dispose of the old fixture. And then, like I mentioned uh, or showed earlier, being able to pull one tube out is kind of a neat feature. It gives you the ability to dim the fixture these particular tubes and most of the T8 LED tubes that I've looked at are non-dimmable. These are rated from 85 to 260 volts AC and from my testing they pull the same 18 to 20 watts no matter what voltage you apply. So if you tried to lower the voltage with a dimmer they just pull more current to make up for the lower voltage and then you get to about 85 volts and the lamp just turns off. And what I noticed is that these tubes are about twice the brightness of the old fluorescent tubes that I replaced. Emphasis on old. They were quite old tubes and as you saw up here the ballast was running pretty hot so I suspect it was not putting out full power what I noticed was my solar LED strip lights up there. That was about the brightness in this room. Okay, so I put fixed exposure on. So this is the brightness with the LED strip lights that I have. These run off of solar power. This is a double density 600 LED strip set these up so that the brightness was just about equal to the old fluorescent tubes that were in here. Let me flip those on. So that's the new T8 LED tubes. So this is the strip lights only and then this is the T8 tube. So it's roughly twice the brightness because if I take one of the, the T8 tubes out, I get about the same brightness in here. 